You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. That was Lou Reed, Men of Good Fortune. Wow. Yeah. From the album Berlin. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> before, that, before that was The Tubes, White Punks on Dope, that I think was released around 76, 7, somewhere in there. Yeah, in there. Did you ever did you ever cross paths with the tubes? I played with the tubes at Bimbo's. In, oh, in Detroit. In no, in uh, not the that was uh, Bookies. Uh, Bimbo's was in San Francisco. All oh, right, they're from there. Yeah, right? and I wore a little uh, bikini brief little on two, stage, two. and there some people claim that they fondled me in my parts, but I don't believe it. Maybe a little fondle. You oh, no, somebody claims they gave me a BJ. Oh, really? Yeah, but nobody ever gave me a BJ. Um, that never happened. But they were there with the giant, uh, Quaalude was there with the giant super platforms right. and, and all that, and I was sort of overwhelmed. There were like 15 of them or so. <laughs> Yeah, they're very they were theatrical. Right? Yeah, yeah, they were, and they they go out again. I read somewhere the, they're out playing or something. You know, yeah, everyone does. Yeah, we all need new kitchens. Yes, <laughs> that's right. You know, yeah, yeah, exactly. This actually happens. You know, or your the one you are with demands a yeah. new kitchen. Yeah, and you say why? What? You know, geez, what? I'm. This is my life. Is to like have a new kitchen <laughs> no it just means nothing to me but you know forget it you're gonna buy the new kitchen but you you like you obviously like still playing and doing records and touring i like certain bits and then the rest of it i don't like it and but you have to do it to do the bits you like and then yeah. sometimes there's like well i would be a little nervous to totally do nothing that might not be good for me I was yeah. like thinking about, I was, uh, I, I did real well last year. I had a real big year and a, a solo tour. And so, you know, I had some jack and I was thinking, well, what should I do? And I thought maybe I should just go away to somewhere near the equator with palm trees and that sort of, you know, native helpers and things of this nature. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, so I went. I there was a property in Grenada. It was it was a Moroccan castle on the coast <laughs> of Grenada. I said, "This is me. Yeah, right? This is the where empire. this is the empire that I deserve." <laughs> you know. So I went down there, and uh, I uh, stayed in a hotel. Did and, and and went to visit the castle, but they brought me over for dinner. The castle's owned by a. Uh, one of these eccentric English weather dealers, you know, the kind yeah. of guy that England yeah. produces that wheel and it's probably a swinger. Yeah, right. So, so the, uh, with, when I walked in the castle, they handed me this rum drink, and it's it's the Spice Island Grenada. So it was so delicious. I'd never tasted anything so good. And I felt really great. <laughs> so I said, give me another one, <laughs> you know. And, you know, I had the dinner. And I woke up the next day and I felt so, I felt so bad, you know. I just felt like S-H-I-T. Yeah. And I mean, I was still dizzy. I couldn't walk right. I was nauseous, depressed. And I thought to myself, I, I might as well be on the Lower East Side. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> why, why go, so, and I thought about this and I said, well, if I, if I go to, if I move my empire to the <laughs> tropics like this with the palm trees and everything, uh, I'll probably be like this every day. That, yeah. was, that scared me, you know. I so. love going to them places. For a little while, then, yeah. Then you start going back. Yeah, this is it. Especially Sorry. if you're by yourself. Yeah. Do you, yeah. You, you still have a missus? I have a missus. I was with my missus. We, we both, she only had one. Well, she might have had two of the rum drinks. But yeah. <laughs> she, she, she handled it better than me. But yeah, me and my missus went down. And she advised me against, you know, she said, oh, you, you don't want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So we ended up. We 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 bought something in a little better neighborhood in Miami than you know something waterfront that really really nice you know some some, some sort of like uh, somewhere where Flipper would live yeah <laughs> you know that Miami lifestyle you know with the indoor and the outdoor yeah and, yeah 
you know. So You've been out there for a while, haven't you? Yeah. I left New York. I've been 20 years in New York. I left in 98 and uh, just said, I'm... I, I'm I'm staying here. That's that. And so let's see what happens. Yeah. I thought I'd just be constantly going to New York for work, but what happened is that all the media people in New York just love an excuse to go to Miami because yeah. they're all jonesing, if you'll forgive the pun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, for... I should copy right that. Yeah, yeah. right. You know, for for a little easy, easy breezy Miami time. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, I've been there almost 18 years now it's been good you like the weather i love the weather and the heat and the alligators and raccoons and the you know the people kind of shuffle down the street in a more relaxed manner and everything's yeah. a little more you know yeah <laughs> Poke salad, <ain't> it? yeah <laughs> yeah like that do you uh I, m I remember once i don't know if i read it or you told me i think i read it that you said that this was years ago you said you would like to have a residency at Caesar, Caesar's Palace. I still, yes, I would feel like I've made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was my fist bagging the uh, KLOS equipment here to, for emphasis. Yeah, I would feel, I would love to do something like that. I don't even, uh, you know, maybe not some of the other, uh, not the, not the places where it's nothing but, old ladies playing bingo and slot machines, right. but Caesars still has, uh, I opened, I think I was on, you were on that bill, uh, we opened- The Hard Rock? We opened the Hard Rock with yeah. Bo Diddley and all that, and I went over to Caesars, and you know, I'm sorry, but I just love seeing guys walking around in centurion uniforms yeah. and girls in the diaphanous yeah. slave costumes. You know? <laughs> and I think, yes, <laughs> this is where I'm coming from, right here, you know. And, and they had the Appian Wave, and there's always a blue sky. Yeah. And it was funny because the, I, I passed the big gaming room at Caesars, and it was dead quiet. You could hear the the whir of the machines yeah. and the croupiers calling out the instructions, whereas at the Hard Rock it was this uh, other culture yeah. where it was noise, noise, noise all the time. It, Younger, crowd. yeah. So I I played I played a festival in Vegas a couple three few years ago and stayed at one of the places and it was sort of like a. You know, the pool area was like a uh, like a Vin Diesel video or something. I don't know. Yeah. It was like it wasn't my cup of tea. I got it. it uh, I, I got it. Crazy. Yeah, but there are a lot of people doing good things down there. I reckon. Yeah, down yeah. downtown yeah. is yeah, starting man. to come up. Yeah, man. A bit, you know. Yeah. But you is part of like the whole deal that I said you still like going on the road. Is, is the traveling? Is that part of the drag? Yeah, that's that's draggy. Even though I get a good class, I get sure. yeah. Some I sort of go half private and half yeah commercial, and uh, but it's just you know it's um it's like you sort of feel like well gee I'm knackered for yeah. why <laughs> you know <laughs> just because I went from A to B, but that's o that's okay. Yeah. You know, it, it, the plus to it is that I meet a lot of people that feel like they haven't been anywhere and they feel bad about that right you know so this is the this is the trade-off right so it's but that yeah that's not the best but uh it works out you know hey hey, hey look who's just here showed comes up joshua <laughs> <laughs> how are you buddy i'm yeah. good how are you jonesy nice to see you likewise you're well, a man joshua does not mind traveling and uh we have some travel coming up. Vacation time. Yes. A lot yeah. of traveling, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. A bit. A bit. The reason I said that, because um, Billy Idol's doing a residency at, 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 Is uh, he really? At Vegas, yeah. Bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think you could do it. I Really? Maybe I could. You know? Maybe I should call them and ask them. I, I love that idea. Yeah. That just Not traveling, just Just boom. Elvising your life. Yeah. Where, yeah. where you just, you say, you come here, I'll meet you there, you know? He yeah. asked me, because that's always been one of my dreams. Oh, mine. Oh, God, I would love that. The main room at yeah. Caesar's Palace <laughs> presents. Well, I've got, you know, Josh 
gave me a really nice intro the other night, so I'm on my way. Yeah, I Ladies think I got it, gentlemen. Down to, yeah, Ladies and really gentlemen, yeah. Dr. Colonel Iggy Pop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we got the we got the suits, you know. So, yeah, I think yeah. we're we're kind of <laughs> halfway there. We're in the there. right direction here. Yeah. But I think you could do it. At, uh, you should do it at Cedars. Caesars. Caesars. <laughs> Caesars. Cedar Sinai at hospital. Cedar no. Sinai. Yeah. A residency. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. You should do it and, and really film it. And it, yeah. it still looks old, Caesars, right? Like, yes, like it used that's to, what I love. The booths the old, and the velvet. Oh, love, that's what I love. The old America. I, I ate dinner last night at... Um, Smoke Did you go house. smokehouse? Oh, yeah. yeah, and it's all the in in Burbank, and it's all the old booths, and then you know you start you do notice it's the very very geriatric clientele. It's a little blue, and, and well, there's like career waiters and waitresses no, there that have been and there the for guy, years. Yeah, the, our, our waiter was 25 years. I asked yeah. him. Yeah. You know. But I dig that though. That's I like loved they, it. they're still there together. That's it. good. Yeah. The food was good. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Not bad. Oh. Iggy Pop. Live at Caesars. Yeah, I see, it. I see it. Right, you know, you just do an album. And Billy's doing Caesars. No, he, he's, he's one what's or he the doing? other. He's one of those more modern. Yeah, the more what's what is Morton's or something. Some or, some joint. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. he's doing like I think he explained to me it was like three shows a week. You have a couple of days off. Right. And back again. And he's yeah. they're doing a bunch of shows. Oh, but what I, I like too is that they kind of put you up at the right at, at their. Yeah, They're that's kind of the like whole idea. Penthouse jam, you the know top, I mean? the top joint. Yeah, man, I, that's hard to hard to argue with that, you know. You, yeah, you're living large then when you're up there with the jacuzzi in your bedroom. The, yeah. The, in the day, the jazz musicians used to just love. They'd go there and back up Sinatra or Count Basie. And yeah. Be, yeah. I'll get the pool, <laughs> the astroturf, right? You know. <laughs> yeah. You know. Sure. I'll tell you what, you do Caesars and I'll do Cedars and we'll meet in the okay, middle somewhere. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was offered uh, Camarillo with the cramps. Oh, that's... And I turned, at the last minute, I was like, no, I'm not going to go duet with Lux at Camarillo in front of a bunch of people who have enough problems of their own. But they it's, went... You you know that video, right? Yeah, it's, they played it in the Nut House, right? It, it's, yeah, it's yeah. It's probably the greatest live video yeah. I've ever seen yeah. in my life. It's incredible. Yeah. Have you ever played any prisons or anything? Not that I remember. I just sang when I was doing a weekend. You yeah. Know? <laughs> it's just a couple I, times, you know. I was in Jackson State Prison. In, uh, over, uh, I was in there about six hours. Thank God it wasn't overnight. It was, um, I got caught. State troopers grabbed me in Romeo, Michigan. for. In, they called it indecent exposure, but they lowered it later to, like, public public uh, wildness or something. What year but was this? This was in 1969. Mm. And uh, when it was so they what they did was uh, just to be mean. They transferred me to the state prison. Oh, no. And the this big guard <laughs> took me up in the elevator and marched me down the hall. And he's singing this song. Old King Cole was a merry old soul with a buckskin belly and a rubber <laughs> and a rubber. <laughs> All right. You know what, right? When, yeah, right. When someone ends with Rives a rubber. With soul, yeah, right. Yeah. And then they put me in. And, you know, at first I was like, all the guys were really nice to me. <laughs> I wonder. I was, yeah. I was wearing, um, I was wearing leatherette, low cut. Oh, uh, man, they, they, they <laughs> thought they'd gone to heaven. Yeah, yeah. bell bottoms. I had a little scoop neck T-shirt. <laughs> but my dad, my dad came and got me out, bailed me out before night fell. Yeah. You know? Oh, <laughs> you, you, you've never done a prison show, have you? Wow. Yeah, we did. In 1976, Chelmsford Maximum Security wow. Prison. Wow. That's amazing. It was good. It was good. I it was mean, really I early was... on, really early. But they were all, you know, you always get a few nut jobs who get up and start dancing. <laughs> yeah. The crazy ones, you yeah. know. And everyone kind of lets them do it because they know they're nuts. Yeah. And they let them do it. And it's just too much trouble to stop them. Yeah. Just let them go, yeah. It was good, though. It was it was actually fun. It was a, it was a real trip. It was like one of them real sure. old, ye old prisons in, in London, you know. Sure. With the towers and all that. Yeah. Bricks yeah, and yeah, whatnot. Yeah. Very very scary. We should we should play uh, one of your songs. All right. Iggy Pop, Josh Hummy, in the studio. Jonesy's jukebox. Kalos. This is off the new album. This is Gardenia. Take it away.